What is up everyone? Chris Chavez here again with DroidShark.com. Now, today we're going to be taking a look at a very, very useful and handy little app for all you movie lovers. Uh, this one's called Redboxer and it comes to you from Droid Soft Dev. And uh, if you've ever seen those vending machines around your neighborhood, uh, they're called Redbox. And basically, uh, they have dollar night rentals for tons of popular DVDs and Blu-ray now. And uh, what this app does is it allows you to browse through all the new releases and everything. And you can even um, set it up with your Redbox account so that you can reserve titles and um, online or through the app. And uh, you can see exactly which Redbox uh, vending machines have your movie in stock. So extremely useful, especially if you're like me, and I use these vending machines all the time. So, um, yes, yeah, sit right there, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what the app is all about. All right, so let's go ahead and open up Redboxer. It has a cool little icon there. It looks like a Redbox kiosk. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is you can see here that um, it's actually looking for your location and stuff um, to find out what, where all the Redbox um, vending machines or kiosks that are near you. Uh, find a movie will take you to... Uh, basically saying it's going to sync the movies and it's going to download all the cover art and stuff so I said it might take a while but I'm on Wi-Fi so it shouldn't take that long. It's completely real search movie so I just got to wait for a second before it'll uh, let me get in today. Uh, find red box will take you to the map view and we'll show you all the red boxes near you so let's go check that out. Uh, you have a list of all of the uh, red boxes that are near you. Um, let me go ahead, I didn't even know there was one outside 7-Eleven, really? It's awesome. Okay, so, yeah, that's really close. So it'll take you to um, the kiosk over there at the 7-Eleven, and it'll show you all the movies that are in stock and the ones that are out of stock. So um, from there, you can actually reserve them if you signed in with your account, which you can do um, in the settings. But if I say wanted to rent Clash of the Titans on Blu-ray, go ahead and click it. It's going to show you you can reserve this movie, and then if you have your account, of course, it'll um, charge your credit card a dollar. Uh, you could bookmark the movie if you want to uh, check that out later. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to my bookmarks. Uh, one of the things I do like about this is once you reserve, I don't think it'll let me without my account. Um, once you do reserve the movie, it'll actually say, do you want directions to this kiosk? So uh, this was helpful for me the other day because I was in um, a different city and I reserved a movie that I wanted to watch at a friend's house and I had no idea how to get to that red box. But uh, luckily, when I reserved it, it actually gives you directions to it. So it'll open up your Google Maps and you can use navigation and everything to get to there. So, again, this app is just absolutely remarkable. New releases will take you straight to all the new releases that came out recently, which is what I'd like to go through. Looks like there's some new movies. Uh, I'm going to see $5 a day. Repo Man on Blu ray? Word? Um, Batman Under the Hood was really good too. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Bookmarks will show you all the movies that you bookmarked that you maybe want to rent for later. Um, you can actually bookmark the kiosks if you have a couple of favorite ones that are near you and you'd like to check out those ones the most so you don't have to go searching through that whole list view. And then of course you have your movies here. Um, clear all movies, sure. Wish list will take you to uh, your wish list which I don't have anything on it. Um, Redbox here, account settings. Um, you can check the settings for find a movie, search range, number of kiosks to look for. Show when movies are the movies that are that are out of stock, which I kind of like. Uh, you can exclude certain genres, so if you're just like a love movie fanatic and you don't really like, um, I don't know, some of the action movies, you can exclude all the action movies and stuff, which I think is awesome because I don't really like chick flicks. Okay, I do. Who am I, who am I kidding? Wish list settings. You can set the interval for your wish list and notify you when something on your wish list is available. Uh, the wish list will basically be movies that aren't out yet, and it'll tell you the ones that, um, when they do come in and stuff, which I think is awesome. Ringtone, you can set the ringtone, vibrate, and all that stuff. Cache movie covers, it'll cache your movie covers to your SD card so that, um, it just makes browsing through them a lot quicker, and they don't have to download them every single time. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the Redboxer app. Awesome, awesome app, especially if you use these kiosks. So, if you have one near you, this is definitely the app to have, for sure. Okay, so that was Red Boxer by Droid Soft Dev. Uh, extremely life-saving, well, maybe not life-saving, but uh, basically a very useful and helpful little app. Definitely worth uh, the, the cost in the market for it. Um, it saved my life thousands of times. It's just a whole lot easier uh, than going online or even trying to use your phone's web browser to try to reserve stuff. Um, you can't really scroll on the map, and it's just all, it's just a complete disaster. So 
this app just um, it's just so so useful and I totally recommend it um, I give it two thumbs up so uh, you guys can find it in the market right now uh, I'm Chris Chavez you're watching joystruck.com come back for some more of my crazy app reviews and I'll see you guys next time